Hey there, how are we all doing today? Today we are taking a look at the SPB 353. Now this um, is a special edition series and um, they're called the Cave Diver series. So let's get this box opened and check it out. This is a US uh, special edition and as Seiko tells us, it's designed for those who treat life as the ultimate adventure. Seiko Prospect Line meets every challenge with technological excellence and style with a rich legacy of innovation and high intensity timekeeping. So here we go. Take a look at this guy. A very uh, snazzy looking case there. And we'll take the plastic off to get a little closer look to it. and overall it's a good looking watch um, this one uh, is reminiscent a lot of uh, or similar into the samurai it's not the samurai case it's a little more rounded than the samurai um, I've heard this one called the Shogun around and um, it's just a cool watch it's, it's nice to have a new design you know not everything can be uh, Willards, you know, or Turtles, or uh, the 65 reissues. So it's nice to have the cave divers we got here. And this one has a blue green uh, textured dial. And that blue green is supposed to represent the mineral and stone deposits of underwater caves. Now, of course, it's got a screw down crown and case back. Um, you got your bezel, uh, it's automatic, of course, automatic timer. Um, you can wind it or hack it as usual with these guys. Um, the the colors are really unique, kind of like that blue-green color. Um, it looks nicer in person. Um, it's not really strong color. If you want something with a little pop of color but not too bright on your wrist, um, something like this is, is pretty good. Um, this one is a 6R35 caliber, and that's 21,600 vibrations per hour, uh, 64 joule, and the reserve on that, the power reserve, is 70 hours. Now, here's what the cool part about these cave diver watches are, is that it's got a titanium um, case, titanium band, so it's really light. Seiko has been nicely sprinkling in a little titanium when since they've been doing a lot of stainless lately. And um, this titanium case has a super hard coating on it. Now, the weird thing about titanium is I'll have, you know, people bring in watches sometimes that are from the 80s, 90s, and they're titanium. Um, and they're scratched to heck, you know. And uh, with a super hard coating, that kind of helps defeat the problem of titanium. You know, it's a hard metal, but it, it tends to scratch uh, a little easier. But the super hard coating will help it uh, give it that luster and everything. And of course, this has a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective uh, coating on the inner surface. This one is um, performs the ISO standards, and it's a 200 meter watch uh, dive watch, and that's 660 feet. For those of you that don't like talking in meters, so this dial color is officially called turquoise, according to Seiko. And um, again, the titanium bracelet, super hard coating and everything it's just um, you know it's nice and light you put it on you kind of forget about it but then it's super durable uh, you could take a look at it here the bezels kind of got that gray bezel onto it um, just really classy looking um, well classy in a tool sort of way <laughs> not classy like hey this you know go take this uh, to the ball or something like that no this is definitely a tool watch and what I like about it is that it's unforgiving in that tool watch um, category. You look at it here, um, the different angles and everything. You know, it looks simple, but uh, sometimes simple is hard, and this watch does a good job on it. Here I have a seven inch, uh, about a seven and a half inch wrist, and you can see the watch on there. It does have a little bit of wrist presence. It's not a huge watch. Um, the diameter on this guy is. Uh, 43.5 millimeter and the length 
of it is a 51 millimeter. The thickness of this guy you can see right there is um, 13.3 millimeter. But you know what? It's light. You don't feel it. You have it on there. Um, you know, all you really feel on this is the movement and the glass. Um, that's where you kind of get the weight from the titanium, super light. And I like it. You know, Seiko for a lot, a lot you know, they throw a bunch of different colorways on these watches and stuff, but this is nice. Um, something a little different with the titanium and the, the case design here. And it's simple and classy. You see there the gray on the bezel. So on any of your adventures, here's the watch you should take with you. Um, Seiko Prospect again, and it is a 24 joule automatic watch. We're gonna head and take it in the dark and check out that beautiful loom. I mean, there's one thing you could say about Seiko. Pretty much every Seiko dive watch has fantastic loom. And you can see that little marker there on the three. There you go. Sorry, you couldn't see it at that angle before. Um, again, this is part of the ISO standards. That's why they got that little thing um, there at the three o'clock, you know, where the date is. It's there. So you, because all markers have to be shown um, for it to be a official ISO. And you can see there the second hand going around just went over the date um, just a fantastic watch I, I like this cave diver series and again it looks much better in person thank you all for checking out the video I appreciate it have a good one bye